Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. We've talked an awful lot about forearm fire. We've done numerous posts. We dedicated an entire section of Fast Pitch Power Plus to forearm fire, yet a lot of our followers, a lot of our young developing pitchers who are transitioning from some other ridiculous way to deliver the softball, such as hello elbow or some other method of delivering the ball to home plate, seem to be confused about exactly what forearm fire is. And it is not some strange concept that has been invented specifically to annoy windmill pitchers and to make it confusing as to how to deliver a softball effectively with maximum speed and command. So what exactly is forearm fire? And I want to before I talk about how it relates to windmill pitching, let's relate it to something that we all can relate to if we're softball players, and that's hitting, okay? So here I am as a batter, and I never want to swing the bat this way, okay? I never want to swing the bat like I am swinging a gate. Rather, I want to pull the knob of the bat forward to the back of the hitting zone, and if I let go of the bat with my left hand, you can see that my forearm and the bat are lagging behind. And from this point, I am going to use what Coach Jill refers to as whip. I am going to extend my elbow, snap my wrist, and I am going to accelerate down the hitting zone and hopefully drive that ball over the center field fence. If I'm a tennis player and I'm going to serve a tennis ball, I'm going to do the same thing. Here is my forearm lagging, my tennis racket, dropped below my body, my elbow leading to the back of the strike zone, striking the tennis ball, and then I'm going to extend, snap, and accelerate, and hopefully hit 120 mile an hour serve past my opponent. Even more fundamental than that would be an overhand throw. If you take a video of yourself throwing the ball overhand, you're going to see the elbow lead to the back of the ear. I'm a right hand thrower, so it's my right ear, my right arm, with my forearm lagging behind. Elbow down, palm up, just like we talk about all the time. From here, I am going to extend my elbow and snap. Your elbow can only do one of two things. It can extend or it can flex. We maintain that elbow extension is what should be utilized in any power athletic movement involving the arm. So I'm going to Bring my elbow to the back of the throwing zone, and then I am going to release the ball by extending, snapping, and accelerating to the end. So when we talk about forearm fire, it is exactly the same as these things. We've invented the words or we use the words forearm fire just to distinguish it from other methods of delivering the ball that are not optimal to you as a pitcher looking to command the strike zone with maximum speed. So we talk about coming to the back of the throw zone. Elbow, palm up, elbow down, and elbow leads to the back of the throw zone. Well, here's my elbow at the back of the throw zone. Here's that forearm leg, same as overhand. I'm just turning it upside down. But this is not where my throw zone is, not where my elbow is, actually. My throw zone's down here, where my hand would extend to. My hand is what needs to access the throw zone. So from here, how am I going to get my hand to access the throw zone? I'm going to extend my elbow. Of course, my throw zone's here, not up here. My elbow leads to the back of the throw zone, yes, but my elbow is above the throw zone. My forearm is lagging behind, just like it was in my overhand throw. Lagging behind, palm up, elbow down. From here, I am going to quickly extend, I like to say, you know, it's like you're, you're a karate champion, you got a piece of wood here, and you're going to chop through that piece of wood. I like to extend, snap, because my wrist is nice and relaxed, and accelerate to the end of the throw zone. Hand floats up into a finished position. How do we work on that? The simplest way to do this, and again, Coach Jill calls this whips. These are glove whips or glove snaps. Okay, so I'm going to put my hand, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it very easy on myself. I'm going to go right in to, as though I have come all the way down the back of the circle, and I'm not pulling my elbow in here, I'm sweeping it down, the back of the circle to the back of the throw zone with my elbow above. Now I got to get my hand into the throw zone. 
but I don't want to go from here and re-engage my shoulder and push the ball up and out. I want to fire the ball down and through. So how do I do that? We call this glove snap. Very simple. So I'm here, and all I want to do from here is I want to snap the ball really hard and really quickly into my glove, nice and relaxed. Elbow leads, forearm legs. I even like to do maybe on the third one. So one, two, three, snap. One, two, extension, three, snap. You can hear that. You can hear the, the power and the velocity that's putting that ball into my glove. And when you start working on this, you do it and you stop at your glove. What we want to do is see that extension and snap. One, two, notice my, I'm not raising my glove up to meet the ball. I'm just leaving it relaxed at my side. Same level as the throw zone. One, two, three, snap. Now, when you get the feeling of that extension and snap into your glove, then you can start continuing past your glove after you do the, the extension and snap. One, two, three. Okay, I have still fired down. You know I have because my glove's here. I didn't lift it up because my, you saw my hand end up here, but it didn't end up there until I snapped that ball into my glove and continue to accelerate down the throw zone. So it's really important to develop forearm fire. I mean, call it what you want, I don't care what you call it. It is a very similar movement to any athletic movement that involves a power movement that involves your arm. I can move my arm from my elbow down much faster than I can from my shoulder down. Much less to move. I hope that this has been useful for you and developing forearm fire is a critical element to your success as a pitcher. Continue to work on it. Let us know how you're doing. Talk to you next time.